I got that sunshine in my pocket I got that good soul in my feet Feel that hot blood in my body When it drops I can't take my eyes up off it Moving so phenomenally Bring my life the way we rock it So don't stop Under the Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Lindsay. No, it's not Poppy from Trolls, although I know I look just like that, and that's because that's who I created for you today is Poppy from Trolls, and I'm so excited to have done this tutorial for you. I think it's absolutely adorable and would be a great, great idea for Halloween. Now, the movie has not come out yet. It doesn't come out until November 2nd. But since Halloween is October 31st, I wanted to get this out there before the movie actually comes out because I think this would just be the most adorable Halloween costume to do. So obviously, I don't have pink hair like Poppy, and that's because I just recently dyed my hair. So I don't want to put any of the spray, like hot pink hairspray, on my hair because it's just freshly done and I don't want to risk messing it up. However, you can definitely do that option. I think it would be really cute to have the pink hair like Poppy has in the movie. So yeah, just run to Walmart, pick up some of that spray, and then just complete this look. Now, I did create this little headpiece out of just some fabric that I got from Walmart. It was really, really easy to do. I just cut out this design, cut out the flowers, and then just hot glued them together. So yeah, it's so simple to do this. And I created this hair. I know it's really hard to see. Let me see if I can show you what it looks like actually <laughs> ah you can't see it there we go can you see it oh my goodness yes so I did not show you in this video how to get this hair but I'm more than happy to do a tutorial on this hairstyle that I did I just didn't have anyone to help me film and I would really need someone to help me film to be able to show you how I got this so if that is something you're interested in seeing, just let me know in the comments below and I will do that for you. So anyway, like I said, I think this is just the cutest look and if you like it, please give it a big thumbs up and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe and join my little YouTube family. Anyways guys, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into this tutorial. So yeah, keep watching. I look crazy. Look at this hair. Woo. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, first things first, I got my reference photo. So, what I'm going to do is I got a clear bowl and I got a red and a white cream paint because I could not find a pink cream paint and obviously Poppy is pink. So, I'm going to mix these two together and hopefully create the perfect pink shade for Poppy. So, here we go. I'm going to start out with white because I want to... Make sure there's enough white and then add the red gradually into that to come up with the pink shade. So that's what I have right now and I'm just going to mix it together and see what color it comes up with. I think I got a pretty good pink going on here. Um, I don't want to put any more red because I'm afraid that it's going to turn too red. So I'm just going to go ahead and start applying this all over my face. So here we go. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and paint my ears. And take it down your neck. Okay, so now that you are poppy pink, you want to make sure that you let it sit and dry as much as you can before you move on. So now that all the pink has set on my face, I'm going to take this LA Colors Dry Color Palette thing, and it's in Peony, and I'm going to take the pink in it and go ahead and do Poppy's eye makeup. So it looks like Poppy has a little bit of pink around her eyes, so I'm just going to take another brush that I don't care about messing up, and I'm going to place on her eyeshadow. I wanted a color that was slightly darker than the color I have on my face so you could see it. Let me scoot up a little bit so you can see. I'm just taking it kind of like, like this. So that's what it looks like she did. So next I'm going to do Poppy's eyebrows, and of course she has pink eyebrows, so what I'm doing is taking this Wet n Wild Color 
lipstick and it's just a pink. I'm taking this e.l.f. eyeliner brush and I'm going to draw on my brows with this. I'm just going to take some of that eyeshadow that I used on my eyes and place it on the brows. Poppy's got some bushy eyebrows. <laughs> today anyway. Alright, and next I'm going to do my nose. So again with that same pink color, I'm just going to pop some of that right on my nose here. She has a pretty wide nose, so I'm not going to be able to get the exact shape of it, of course. I don't have a troll nose, thank goodness. Although her nose is adorable. So I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to take it a little bit out. Now Poppy has some very rosy cheeks, so I'm going to take this Too Faced blush, and this is in Justify My Love, and I'm just going to take this blush brush and pop some blush on her cheeks. And she keeps it very close to like her apples of her cheeks, so that's what I'm going to do. Now if you look at Poppy's eyes, she does have black eyeliner with some gorgeous lashes. So I'm just going to take this Hickory black eyeliner and do my eyes real quick. And I'm trying to bring it a little bit further down and make it more rounded so that it gives me the illusion of having more round eyes. Now, Poppy's eyelashes are pretty high up, so I'm going to go ahead and draw on some fake lashes on the lid of my eyes. I'm going to take it like this. Alright, gorgeous lashes, Poppy. So next, to make the eyes look a little bigger, I'm taking just a white eyeliner, and I'm going to put that inside of my waterline. And popping on some mascara. So now Poppy has some little white flecks on her cheeks so I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna use this little brush that I got in a paint kit and dip it into the white and draw those little flecks on her face really quick. So Poppy does have a very deep smile, so I'm going to place a little bit of the darker pink in the center of my lips, like this. And I'm taking it into the natural creases of my smile. So it just kind of enhances my smile a bit. So I don't have any pink contacts. She obviously has pink eyes. I do not have pink eyes. So I guess this is it guys. This is Poppy. I hope you like her. I think she turned out really, really cute. Anyway, if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe down below. I'll be doing many more Halloween character looks. Anyways guys, I will see you next time. Bye.